October 12th, we were the last flotilla to get out of there. The weather got really nasty. Matter of fact, uh, we got emails from the AGLCA kind of urging people not to leave. They had eight, ten foot waves on Lake Michigan. We did pretty good. We got up to the river, and once we were in the river, we were fine. Uh, we were the last flotilla to get out of there. A lot of people stayed, and some of them just left this morning. So we went to a marina called Marine Services. Really couldn't leave the marine. It was in South Chicago, probably the worst part of Chicago, but it was just felt really good to be out of Hammond. So the next day we went to the wall at Juliet, and that was sort of a staging point for getting through the three um, locks that had c caused everybody the trouble. Uh, I'll let Lorraine show you where they are, but we, we, we had a lot of drama at Juliet. Everybody was sort of concerned because of the memo about the wind and the rain. It was pouring down rain, and some people were calling 35 mile an hour gusts, 40 mile an hour gusts. Um, and that went on all night. I was determined to leave and one other boat, but but by about midnight, we were the only two people really leaving. I got up the next morning at five, walked the dock, talked to people, and it ended up everybody did finally leave, uh, except maybe I think three or four boats. Sarah Flotilla at that point was about 10 or 12 boats. We did excellent going through the uh, five locks that was everybody's fear for, i'm sorry three locks that's that was everybody's fear for for weeks we went to a marina called uh, heritage harbor it was a bit of a celebration i'll tell you we were all relieved uh, they had a nice restaurant almost had a bit of a party personally had my own party <laughs> two uh, double martinis. Won't do that again. So after that the flotilla actually started to break up. That really really served its purpose. We'd go through rock locks 13 boats at a time, rafted five, four, five, rafted together. The locks are huge but that's a lot of boats. Most locks we got through in an hour I think one of them we waited for an hour, so two or three hours. But anyway, uh, that was a real, really, real high point of the trip, I think. So then we went to a little marina or town called Henry. Nothing there, but the people were very nice, and we kind of wanted to support them. There were three boats there. Us, uh, I'm not going to mention the name of the boat, but a uh, two and a half million dollar boat and then a little ranger tug that was like 23 but that's sort of how the loopers do it it didn't make that much difference who was who so we left there this morning um, and today we're at a place called Ivy, Ivy Illinois Valley Yacht Club Illinois close to Peoria Valley Lot Lot Yacht Club close to Peoria, just on the outskirts. Uh, we got here, nobody was here. Uh, we called, the message said that they're closed, I guess Sunday and Monday. So we just put the boat in the slip and finally we tracked somebody down who, who was like the dock master, came in after a while. Got all that straight, straightened out. So we're here tonight, uh, leaving tomorrow. And I, I can't tell you for sure what we're going to do tomorrow, but we might go to the wall at Peoria, be a short day, and then the day after that is when we have to start locking again. So I'm going to let Lorraine sort of show you 
on the map how far we got, but. Uh, yeah, so we left he here, that was Hammond, and then we had two locks to get through before we went to Marine Services. But these locks right here, these three locks right here are the ones that were closed for months that have been uh, kind of blocking everybody from traveling through, uh, whether it be north to south or south to north. So anyway, we are actually now about right here. We're, we're just about five miles from Peoria. So we've gone about two inches, which makes me happy. So, and we are headed uh, down here somewhere. We're headed, uh, I don't know, down here. So we have, we have uh, probably another two or three weeks to travel, but anyway. All right. I just want to say a few other things. We're getting further south every day. Uh, gets dark earlier, gets light, it's a little cooler, but we're sort of noticing as we go up south, we're, we're doing better. It's been a little stressful. Last week was very stressful. I think uh, maybe more on Lorraine than on me. I sort of enjoyed the drama of it. I don't think she did as much as I did, but we made some really nice, good friends. Uh, this whole flotilla thing bothered me at first, but we had like, it started with 16 boats. It reminded me a little bit of like being in the army and you have a platoon and uh, for those three or four days, everybody talked to everybody. We made, we made joint decisions. We, we, motored single file, staged at the locks, went in. So it, it was a it was a experience but it was it was a very stressful week for everybody. Well guitar and spend time with my girl If I can stir a little happiness in my wake I'll die a happy man, make no mistake, whoa Do we ever really know what we're here for? I'm not sure but I doubt we should be making war I've never harmed anyone with what I do A principle of mine to which I try to be true Saturday morning, 5.45. Very tough go-no-go -go decision today, but I'm thinking we should go. Still haven't seen anybody else on the dock. Yes, dear. Looks like they might be getting ready. I hope so, because it make it a lot easier for me to get out of here. Okay, seven o'clock, Brandon Lock. We're rafted three boats here, two over there, and boats still coming in. Through the first of the three locks today, Brandon Road. It's 8 o'clock. We all left at uh, around 6.30, so two more big locks to go. I hope they go as smooth as that one did.
looks for people passing by They wonder what I do looking up to the sky What I'm looking for is there to be found With my head in the clouds and my feet on the ground Eleven twenty. That's uh, flotilla nine. I think there's one boat ahead of us. But oh no, we're doing pretty good. Coming up on the Marsalis lock, the last one of the day, the last of the three that were down and holding everybody in Chicago. Looks like the lock is pretty much ready for us. We have to wait for a green light, but it looks like it is up. So we'll be going down. Play my guitar and spend time with my girl If I can stir a little happiness in my way I'll die a happy man, make no mistake